Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you are welcome to the short word for today's audio daily devotion. You are alive and no matter what you are going through, remember that today is a beautiful day. If you are here for the first time, I will be glad if you could subscribe and click the bell icon to receive our notification when we post a new video. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Please, don't forget to share this video with your loved ones, family, friends, colleagues, acquaintances and social networks. I want to thank you for sharing. Our mission is to deliver the word of God in spirit and truth. Today's title for the word of encouragement is Now is the time. Stop underestimating your strength. We all know that life is tough, but so you are. It is not a crime to feel bad when the need arises. Allow yourself to feel bad. Refuse to be a victim. Be generous to yourself. Don't feel pity for yourself and don't look down on yourself and your abilities. Your current situation is not the end of the road. Your present condition is not permanent. So, stop making it permanent. Also, stop comparing yourself with others. You don't know their true story. Remember that you did not fail because you took longer than others. Remember that great things take time. Stop being impatient with yourself. God has promised you that He will make all things beautiful in His time. It will help if you understood that you would never arrive at the best things in haste. God is in no hurry and His plans are never rushed. Never give up on yourself and God. God will never give up on you. He is the author and finisher of your fate. God, who has begun a good work in you, will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Be kind to yourself. Forget what people think about you. Always remember that you are stronger than you think. Don't be so hard on yourself. Dealing with life, everyday stuff and emotions can be challenging. I never said it will be easy. You are a brave soul on a mission and you got this. Push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. The only real battle in life is between hanging on and letting go. Motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. It is not too late to start changing things. It's never too late to start over. If you weren't happy with yesterday, try something different today. Don't stay stuck. Do better. Don't forget that you can start late, start over, be unsure and uncertain, look different, act different, try and fail and still succeed. Now is the time. It is never too late to start something. You are just one decision away from changing your life. The affirmation for this week's short word for today. I am a beloved child of God. Today's title for the short word for today's series is How Faith Works, Part 2 of 7. All Bible quotations are from the King James Version unless otherwise stated. This week's Bible verse is from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 6. Quote, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him." Unquote. The words of faith 
and believe are similar. Nelson's Bible Dictionary defines faith as a belief in or confident attitude towards God involving commitment to his will for one's life. Nelson also says, belief is to place one's trust in God's trust. Belief is based on information, while faith is based on application. This important first step will help you understand the difference between faith and belief. The biblical definition of faith, quote, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for, and assurance about what we do not see. Unquote. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, reading from the New International Version. The dictionary definition of faith, complete trust or confidence in someone or something. As you can see from both definitions, faith has to do with confidence, but it doesn't stop there. Faith in its most accurate form is when you have confidence in God to the point that it causes you to act. Faith impacts the way people live, the choices they make, and the things they do. Noah built an ark by faith when it had never rained before. Abraham left his family to obey God, even though he had no idea where he was going. When they left Egypt, Joseph told the Israelites not to leave his bones behind because he believed and had faith in God that God will bring them to Cana, the promised land. The common thread running through these men is when faith was present. Their actions demonstrated it. In the same way, faith is dead if it is not accompanied by action. When there is faith, there will be actions and your faith will be seen by what you do. The dictionary definition of belief is accepting that a statement is true or something exists. Belief is acknowledging something is true. Belief does not automatically translate into action. While it has the potential to transform or shape your behavior, there is no guarantee it will. Belief in its most elementary form is about what you accept as true, not what you do with it. Faith is the eyes that see the light in the tunnel when everywhere is dark. We have reached the end of part 2 of the Sure Word audio devotion series titled How Faith Works. Please don't go away. The Sure Word capsule is next. Welcome to the Sure Word capsule. A capsule is a tiny tube holding powdered or liquid medicine which you swallow. Capsules are easier to swallow. Capsules are proper when you want to be sure that you are absorbing all the ingredients or want to spike your bloodstream with a specific kind of ingredient. The Sherwood capsule is the medicine for your deliverance, protection, healing, prosperity, and safety. You take this capsule by constantly confessing the word of God. I would like you to confess this at least once, twice, or three times a day. Whatever you are going through, this word will help you. You'll be blessed if you start with me and repeat every word that I confess. To avoid gaps in this recording, I will join you in repeating the short word capsule. Please confess after me. Today I will rejoice and I will be glad. Today I will rejoice and I will be glad. Because this is the day you have made, Lord. Because this is the day you have made, Lord, I claim your word that says, I claim your word that says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. All the days of my life. Dear Lord, I place today in your hands. Dear Lord, I place today in your hands. I claim over my life the grace, peace, and protection that you offer. I claim over my life the grace, peace, and protection that you offer. Lead me not into temptation. Lead me not into temptation. Give me the strength and grace to keep my heart pure. Give me the strength and grace to keep my heart pure. 
and guided against ungodly things and guided against ungodly things take the throne of my heart take the throne of my heart take the reins over my emotions take the reins over my emotions take control of my mind throughout today take control of my mind throughout today may your presence be so real and so tangible to me may your presence be so real and so tangible to me that i may not fear anything that i may not fear anything but walk in complete faith but walk in complete faith for i walk by faith and not by sight for i walk by faith and not by sight nothing can separate me from you lord nothing can separate me from you lord teach me how to choose only your way lord teach me how to choose only your way lord so that each step that i take will lead me closer to you so that each step that i take will lead me closer to you i want to walk in your hands lord i want to walk in your hands lord and i want to be aware of you and i want to be aware of you and your powerful presence in everything i do and your powerful presence in everything i do and wherever i may go and wherever i may go i speak the protection of the blood of jesus i speak the protection of the blood of jesus to surround my family and me to surround my family and me may your pillar of fire be seen may your pillar of fire be seen where my family and i abide where my family and i abide every night may your glorious fire be seen every night may your glorious fire be seen to form a hedge of protection around me to form a hedge of protection around me i pray for a hedge of protection i pray for a hedge of protection at my job in my car as i travel at my job in my car as i travel i ask for your divine protection i ask for your divine protection lord jesus give me the strength to face today lord jesus give me the strength to face today lord i don't know what today will bring lord i don't know what today will bring and i don't know what awaits me today and i don't know what awaits me today but i know that you are with me but i know that you are with me because you said because you said that you will never leave nor forsake me that you will never leave nor forsake me father direct my steps today father direct my steps today into a way that leads me to peace into a way that leads me to peace strengthen my heart strengthen my heart to walk in obedience to your commandments to walk in obedience to your commandments i ask that you release grace and mercy i ask that you release grace and mercy from heaven to lead and guide me from heaven to lead and guide me i know you are my provider i know you are my provider and you have supplied and you have supplied all my needs according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus all my needs according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus you have made a way for me you have made a way for me even in situations where there was no way even in situations where there was no way thank you lord for your supernatural supplies protection and healing thank you lord for your supernatural supplies protection and healing you have sent your word and healed me from every illness you have sent your word and healed me from every illness i thank you lord for victory over sin and death i thank you lord for victory over sin and death great is your faithfulness great is your faithfulness thank you lord for answering my prayers thank you lord for answering my prayers in jesus name i pray amen in jesus name i pray amen if you want to support our work 
The best way is to subscribe to this channel. For more capsules tailored to meet your specific needs, visit www.theshoreworld.org.uk forward slash capsules. Also, you can request a sure word capsule to be created for your particular challenges. You have been inspired, motivated, encouraged, and empowered to become the person God created you to be. For more encouraging words of faith, inspiration, and the resources to overcome your challenges, subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to receive instant notification anytime we publish a new video. Thank you for listening and confessing along. Please, don't forget to share this audio devotion. Thank you. Have a gorgeous day. God bless you.